guys? How are you? Yeah. Well, that was a smoother transition today. It's Friday. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Sabina. Hi, Alicia. How is everybody? Now, this was out of thing yesterday. Let's see if I can get it to work. Ugh. Must be really low. Dang it. I'm gonna have to get the oils. Those are good too. I'm gonna have to get the oils. Or I'll just use the crystal. Crystals work too. Clear out anything that's holding you back. Alright, for those that don't know me, I am Tracy Gork. I'm a healing coach, energy healer, spiritual mentor, intuitive channel. All of that I use to figure out what's wrong and get you well. And I have clients that can attest to this. Stuff comes in when you start working with me. Stuff comes in all the time for you. And it's good. I'm not like I sound like it's like it's not. It's very good. I love that it happens. I gotta move this chair. This chair's driving me crazy. I need my little swivel chair. Um, so that's me. So today I wanted to talk about heal now so you're not forced to later. It's very, very important. Even if you're past the point like where you're like forced to deal with it, you need to start looking at what got you there. It's so important. And it's not to take on the blame, it's not anything. Illness, a lot of times, well there's, we're gonna focus on this part. Like I've said before, it can be several things. Either you plan to have it for whatever reason, it's showing up because your body's telling you you need to change what you're doing, and it could be those together, or you have gone, you're going through this to help somebody else in your life with something. So it, it could be one of those three things, it could be more, but those are the main ones that I've dealt with. And so you need to remember that. But regardless of any of those things, you can still work on yourself and get yourself to the best possible place that you can be with whatever soul contracts you came in with for that. I believe, though, this lifetime, because we're moving into the uh, fifth dimension, um, we can get to the best possible place. And some of it's like a lot of heavy stuff that we're carrying. Um, that we need to clear out and it's being more obvious with illnesses so remember that so when you start having any pains any like foods upsetting you any anxiety stress that's a sign to let you uh, know you need to pay attention you need to pay attention and then you need to pay attention where your mind's going. You need to pay attention to how you're reacting to things. You need to be at pay attention to um, if you're stuffing feelings. And that happens a lot. I do it. I do it rather than like try to cause conflict. I stuff feelings. I'm trying to get better and to say things as they come up, right? So, um, you really need to pay attention to that. Um, if you, the second things start to show up, the second, like I said, I'm going to go over it again, the food, the second, like if you're paying attention to how you feel with certain foods, stay away from them. If how you're reacting to different things, like if you can tell, like it's working your body up, like you get kind of worked up at things, pay attention to that because that's, your body's telling you, like the more you get in tune, your body's really talking to you all the time. And when you get in tune and when you pull yourself out of that and, and are in a, a great state, it does feel good, right? And then you notice when you're out of it. So the more work I've done, the more I can tell when I'm getting into a state that's not right for me, that's going to cause some out of, out of balance in my body. And so it's very important to pay attention to how you're feeling about different things. If you're stuffing stuff, it's going to affect you horribly, horribly. So don't stuff. Um, pay attention. Pay attention to how you feel around others. If you're not feeling great around others, 
you need to protect yourself and you need to maybe not be around them that much um, because they're either draining you in one way or another or they're courting into you and so pay attention to that all of these things are um, giving you ideas on when you're not taking care of yourself right and then on we're going to in the other way this these are definite things you want to do it's been um, shown that just 20 minutes of moving your body pretty briskly even a walk or whatever 20 minutes a day every day is all you need to get yourself healthier and prolong your life so you've got to move your body um, sitting around all day is not good you've got to move your body drink water you've got to drink water these are things that you want to do to keep yourself well so you don't come down later and have issues right and if you you also need to pay attention when you get healings and you come and get the healings but then the next day you're not feeling good you're, you've got to pay attention to what you're doing because those should um, that should help you right and if it's not then you're not like really working on the mind part of it and you're you're falling you tend to, like people tend to fall right back in because that's where they're comfortable at even though it's not a, a good place to be it's what they're comfortable with and our minds tend to take us there where we're comfortable and it's not always the best place for our physical body but we easily when we've been in it for so long that's what we know and we fall back into it very easily so you want to pay attention to that because if you don't start paying attention, what's going on with you, any illnesses you have, will just get worse and worse and worse until you're forced to pay attention. And you don't want to do that. And even if, but the point is, even if you are in that, you can still make a difference. It'll be more work for you to climb out of it, but you can still make a difference. So you want to start. So I'm talking to both sides. I'm trying to catch the people who are kind of just getting in there, and then I'm catching the people who are already there where they're like having problems where they have to go to see the doctor about you want to you can still pull yourself out by doing these same things it might just be more work for you um, and, and like I said when you're getting there it's because you're in this routine of wanting no I'm not gonna it is wanting but when you understand what I'm saying it's because that's what you know and we tend to want to do what we know not um, our mind wants us to keep going and doing what it knows. If it doesn't know it, it scares it. And it doesn't tend to want to do that. When it doesn't know, like, what's going to happen if I do this? So our mind plays tricks with us. So remember that. It's like, it's a constant thing you've got to work on to pull yourself out of it and, and, and do things. Sometimes it takes an effort, you know? There's times, like, I don't want to do the work or, or work out. But I, I don't know, I'm going to do this. And then I think myself later. It's not every day. It's not like, oh, just so you know, people that work out all the time, it's not because they feel like doing it every day. It's not like they're like all these wonderful people who it's easy for them to get up and work out. There's some days it is, and there's some days it's not. The difference is they choose to do it when it's not easy. And their mind's like, oh, but you could just rest today. You know? Even the ones that are in the best shape that work out all the time, they don't have, every day is not like this, oh, gonna work out, feels great. They have trouble, they don't wanna do it, but they do it anyway. So that's part of like healing, guys. It's like getting to the point where um, you, make, you make that choice to do something different that's gonna change your life and start you on the path to feel better. And doing all those things, like I tell you at the end of the video, and eating right and drinking water and exercising, they're huge. Those are like the bare minimum to do, but that's what you start with. And yep, it's an everyday thing to do all this stuff. But once you start doing it, and it becomes, you make that your routine, it makes a difference for you. It makes a huge difference. So make it your routine. Make that your routine and do it and do it and do it until it's part of your routine. And when you don't do it, it doesn't feel right. So, that's what I have for today. Heal now so you are not forced to later. Even if you're in the point where you're forced to, you still do the stuff because it'll make a difference. And, I mean, if you don't do it, it's just going to get worse also. 
So you need to just start making the effort to do the things that are good for you and healthy for you and not, not stuffing the emotion, letting it out, saying what you need. Um, gently, no anger, don't get angry. And don't get angry when, when um, just gently say what you need and then decide how you wanna handle it from there. But you've gotta start taking care of yourself. Do things for yourself that left you up. If you're drawn to do something, pay attention to that. Pay attention to um, things you're drawn to do because they could be very healing for you. Like yesterday I said, well, I went in the closet, what should I wear today? Green came up, green is healing, and that's what I needed to wear today. Live your life like that with purpose, on purpose for what you need, and pay attention to your instinct on it. All right, guys, that's what I have today. We will do, I'm just gonna do a little healing for you today um, to go throughout the weekend. So sit back and relax, and we'll um, get some healing. So I want you to imagine the violet flame below your feet Coming up and around and through your whole body, it's cleansing, clearing, and purifying everything. Any negative thoughts that come up, any frustrations, angers, put them in the violet flame. Take a deep breath in now. Hold it, and then exhale anything that may have come up for you with that. Now I want you to think about anything that maybe has come from others at you, any anger, frustration, and put that in the violet flame. This is how we clear stuff out and help us be able to see what's really going on with us and what's ours and what's not and what's something we need to deal with, right? It's clearing all the other stuff out because we tend to hold on to what other, other people's stuff and think it's our own and it's not, okay? And then finally to consciousness. This is a big one. We all, if you're here around me, most likely very intuitive, empathic, and you can feel the energy, and you can't always tell if it's yours or not, okay? So any anger, frustration, fear, hopelessness, helplessness, put that in the violet flame. Any confusion, there's a lot of confusion out there, put that in the violet flame. Okay, we're going to leave that violet flame there. I want you to sit back. I want you to pay attention as you're getting the healing today. I want you to pay attention to where you, why, and I want you to write it down. Why do you think you're, um, having issues? Because I'm just going to assume if everybody's here watching, everybody has issues. I mean, I have issues. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to write down what comes up for you. That, of why you're having the issues and then write down what do you think you can do to fix it okay all right so I'm gonna begin sending healing now it will not be forced upon you only if you are open to receiving it it will come to you if not don't worry it won't be forced on you okay so we'll begin now so sit back and relax Okay, guys, that's what I have for today. Uh, one more thing and then we'll go through. I'm doing the three-month program. It's starting in September. It's really going to be a good way for you to get in, figure out what's going on with you. We're going to clear it out, and then we're going to work on why you got to that point 
and help you change the habits so you can get better and stay better. So it's three months and I've decided to make it three months so we can really dig in deep and really do the work, the hard work. And um, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i be letting you know what I see. And that's one thing I'm changing. It's not sitting back and being like, oh, okay, it's, let's just get some healing. No, we're gonna have some serious conversations in really changing what's going on, okay? So uh, that's what I have. If you're interested in that, let me know. Um, it's gonna be three months, it's gonna be really good. And then, so go do something you love, something that brings you joy, something that lifts you up. Do it every day. Sing, dance, run around the yard. Um, just do stuff that lifts you up as much as possible, but at least one every day. Make that effort. Then do some self-care. Drink tea, pray, meditate, Epsom salt bath. Whatever that is, do at least one of those also. Very, very important. And then uh, look for the good in everybody. And when you see things that stand out, tell them. And do that at least once, but look for the good in everybody. And then write 10 things you're grateful for. you got to start doing these things. It's going to change your life. It's going to make a difference. But these are things you've got to do. And if you don't feel like it, remember, nobody feels like doing anything. It's about how much they decide they want to change their life. And then they start doing things. Okay? And if these don't fit for you, come up with something that you think fits for you. These are just what I've come across that I've notice that changes my life. And one more thing, this is what I saw this morning that if I had not been paying attention to the beauty around me, the hummingbirds were um, playing in the sprinklers this morning. It was the coolest thing to watch. So do that. When you start paying attention, little things like that bring you joy and make you smile. So you want to start doing that because that's what we all need. And that's what we need to start looking at is what is beautiful out there rather than what's looking for bad because whatever you look for is what you will find. So look for the good, okay? All right, guys, have a great day. Have a great weekend. I love you all, and I will see you Monday. Bye.